Hello viewers, in this video we are going to solve this radical equation. It says, find the value of x given that root x plus 2 is equal to 4 plus root x minus 6. To clear these square root signs, we need to square both sides of the equation. So let me start with the left hand side. If I square the left hand side, x root s plus 2 square, whatever I do to the left hand side, I must do it to the right hand side. So I'm going to square the right hand side to so have 4 plus root x minus 6 squared. And note that when we square a number under a square root sign, the square root will be gone. Look at this. If I have root a times root a, for example, is equal to root a square. And we know that the square root of a square is a. So the point I'm trying to make is when a number is under a square root sign and you want to get rid of that square root sign, you square it. So taking the square of this x, uh, root x plus 2, when I take the square of it, I'll be left with x plus 2. So the square root is gone. So equal to. But on the right hand side, because of this number here, it will not work that way. So I'm going to expand this bracket. You know that a square, for example, is a times a. So this 4 plus root x minus a square means 4 plus root x minus 6 times 4 plus root x minus 6. So by the time I expand this bracket, I'll have x plus 2 t on the left hand side. 4 times 4 is 16. 4 times root x minus 6 is 4 root x minus 6. Then again, root x minus 6 times 4 is 4 root x minus 6. Then root x minus 6 times root x minus 6 is x minus 6, just like what we did on the left hand side. So that I have x plus 2 equal to, uh, let me add this, this and this can be added together since both of them are um, root x minus 6. So 4 plus 4 is 8. So I have 16 here plus 8 root x minus 6 then plus this x here minus 6. Let me collect light terms. These and these. We can bring them together and that will be 16 minus 6 which is 10. I have x plus 2 equal to 16 minus 10, like I said, is uh, 16 minus 6, rather, is 10, plus 8 root x minus 6, then plus this x. Again, I can collect items, both um, as comparing this right hand and left hand now. When this s crosses to the other side, it becomes minus. So that will be x minus x, then plus this 2. And when this 10 crosses to this other side, it becomes minus 10. And equal to 8 root x minus 6. Then x minus s is 0. That is gone there. 2 minus 10 is negative 8. Equal to 8 root x minus 6. Let me divide both sides by 8, so I can get rid of this 8 here. So this divide by 8, and this divide by 8. 8 here is negative 1, equal to square root of x minus 6. Again, to find the value of s, look at on the left hand side, it's a negative number, but on the right hand side, we cannot really see. The square root of this cannot be negative. So let me square both sides again. So I have negative 1 square equal to square root of x minus 6 square. 
and negative 1 square is 1 equal to square root of x minus 6 square is x minus 6. Therefore, collecting items 1, when this negative 6 cross equality in front plus 6 is equal to x. Therefore, x is equal to 7. Now, let's check whether this 7 actually satisfy the equation that we are solving. The equation says root x plus 2 is equal to 4 plus root x minus 6. And now we've known x to be 7. So let's substitute 7 into that equation and see whether we arrive, as in whether the expression on the left hand side will be the same as that on the right hand side. So I have root x plus 2 on the left hand side. And now x is 7. So that will be root 7 plus 2, which is root 9 and the square root of 9 is 3 that is left hand side let's check for right hand side and see whether we'll get 3 also right hand side is 4 plus 4 plus root root x minus 6 x minus 6 that will be 4 plus the square root of s is 7, 7 minus 6, 1. So 4 plus square root of 1. Square root of 1 is 1. That is 4 plus 4. Uh, sorry, 4 plus 1, not 4 plus 4. I like a mistake there. Square root of 1 is 1. So I have 4 plus 1. There's no way 4 plus 1, which is 5. There's no way it can be equal to 3. So this question or the solution s equal to 7 does not satisfy that equation. That means this equation actually has no root. The equation has no root. And that brings me to the end of this. I hope you found it useful if you do. Don't forget to like the video and also subscribe to my channel so you get notified when I release a new video. Thank you.